Okay, good morning. Welcome to the tent house day, well day one I guess, after night one. How we all sleep? Top of the morning to you. It's great. The reality is, is like beach life seems great in the movies, but when you come here, it is great, like it is great, but there's lots of mosquitoes and it can be a little bit hot. So we went to bed in our nice hammocks. Got a bit punished last night by heat, by mosquitoes. Some of us slept better than others. Brett was sleeping like this. <laughs> So funny. It was great. I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour of the place. It's pretty simple. We have five hammocks for five dudes. Our local friends are in the tent. We got a cat down here. Finn, Finn got railed. Oh. Where did they bite you in? Through the, through the, through yeah, the, through the bottom actually, of the hammock. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you sleep in that, they go through it. They didn't they go through my through it. Right? Yeah, it's rough. And this is our charging nest. They all went for him. Look at all this, this mess. Batteries and cords and cables. How's your back, man? My back's good because I just I zipped up and I got no bites. The amazing thing about being on the beach though is you can walk out, you can jump into the ocean, have a nice bath, and you can explore very easily the coast. That's the plan today. We're gonna jump in a boat, a local fisherman's boat, <clears throat> explore around, visit some beaches that very few people go to, and apparently watch out for snakes because this morning, they killed a giant one right in front of where we were sleeping. Poor guy. I'm joined with one member of SWAT Team Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to protect. I'm your VIP protection service for today, buddy. So the plan is grab this boat, go across that water, and make that little island our home for the day. This sand is hot, man. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get the folks in the water. Welcome, gentlemen, to your own private island for the day. We might not have bathrooms, but we have spear fishing, snorkeling, surfing, coconut harvesting, Dude, I did not and everything else. in the world. It's no shame. It's no shame in giving up. It's not giving up. Listen, I spent 45 minutes out here, didn't catch a single wave, but it worked my paddling muscles. And paddling muscles are important for the next time I go surfing. All I know is I had fun. Well, that paddling's fun. Oh, I think we just cut to our local friends. Filipino friends just killing it on the surfboard. Because his arms are shot, man. Shoot the drone footage.
This may be the best boodle fight yet. Woo! Yeah, this one's legit. Man. Let me just mango. What do we have? Pit mango, pit. beef jerky, spaghetti. Yeah. One grabchen. Yeah. Mm. And spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat that. Oh wow. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That was A for effort. Watch out for those shirts. All right, party people, it's another day of island hopping here in Suriname and Sur. We are headed to the Britannia Islands. And they are looking so nice today. Mindanao has been treating us very well, and we're excited to show you part of the Philippines that people don't really explore very often. Let's go. <laughs> I almost broke. I was. <laughs> I almost broke your ankle. Yeah, paradise. <laughs> Look at this place, dude. What is it? <laughs> What's it taste like? <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's just it's salty, but it's like super fresh. Mm -hmm. it's, I love it. If you eat too much, you get a little a little frisky. If you eat too much. <laughs> Pia, do you like it? Very much. Yeah. What does it taste like? Salty. Salty. <laughs> yeah. Hot like tip. Yeah. You're eating eggs. This is my this is my sea egg. It's from the sea. <laughs> One dish of suwaki, also known as uni, also known as sea urchin. Actually, this is just the eggs. They put all the guts in a big in a pig barrel, and you just scoop out the sea urchin eggs. In some places, this is actually like a caviar. And this is what you eat when you eat uni sushi. I've actually never had it before. I'm expecting salty. I'm expecting a little bit creamy. But I'm expecting masarap. Masarap. Lumi. Lami. La mica ayo. La mica ayo. <laughs> it's very good. Try it. See if you believe it. Honest opinion. Mmm. La mica ayo. Hold on, let me take two bites. It's 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 a very unique taste. You taste a lot of the vinegar. The vinegar has what's in the vinegar? Chilies, maybe some onions. Loya. Loya. Oh, loya. They got ginger. Ginger chilies. It tastes a little bit tangy. But like funky tangy, almost like, almost like. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm grasping at air for words to describe how this tastes. All you need to know is it tastes masarap. masarap. Lumi. Lame. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He offered me a drink two islands ago. We're back. I said later, and now it's later. Okay. So I'll have a drink. What is that or? Is it rum? Tagai. 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 Put some hair on your chest, yeah? You need some more. I got lots. Hey, Finn. I'll do it. Cheers. That's wrong! That's wrong! <laughs> There's a cave back here. You know we gotta check it out. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. Super epic. Look at the uh, crap. I'm going down to the ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. It's one of the first ones of the Mindanao series I did with my friends, Becoming Filipino, Brett Maverick, Finn Snow, and Daniel Mars. Make sure to subscribe to those guys. They're all mentioned in the description. Also, make sure to check out the video we did last, which was Dancing with Toots in Davao City. If you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be amazing if you did that. And if you wanna join my Patreon community, I share some stories, some videos, some photos that are a little bit too intense from behind the scenes of my channel. Share that as well. Experience over possessions, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.